So we're in Soho. I was reminded of something a couple of times today because I heard people saying it. And it applies to different things in life. And when people say they're not quitting or they're not giving up, that's the first thing they're thinking of. And I speak with people about their self-talk. There's a huge difference between not quitting and carrying on in our subconscious. Because to implant that word quit in there, if someone tells themselves they're not quitting 10 times a day, they will quit. Because our subconscious doesn't hear the word not, it hears quit. So last year, I was training for stupid amounts of marathons. So one day, I'm in the gym on the treadmill, we've set it all up to the 26.2 miler. And after seven or eight miles, because I was going at a fair pace, after seven or eight miles, it started you know, tweaking a bit. Then at about 12 miles, the clock reset. Now I needed it to show 26.2 for some sponsorship. So it wasn't a case of do another 40 miles. It was a case of reset it and go again. And that's what I had to do. And I wasn't in the best mood when that happened. You know, I was, there may have been some gym towels thrown away, thrown around. Uh, but I got back on it. But then, all I remember after 15, 15 miles of the second one, the absolute intensity of the pain. I was getting stomach cramps, leg cramps. Uh, just no no nutrition, just water, water and shakes. 20 miles, literally, I was counting the steps. Nearly fucking killed me. But all I kept saying to myself was, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. One night last year at 10 o'clock at night, I decided to go out and walk around the outside of Manhattan, but the starting point was seven or eight miles from where I was. So I walked it to the starting point, walked all around the outside of Manhattan, which you can't do directly, so there's times I had to double back, there was times I had to run across highways. I was absolutely beat, but the same thing, on no nutrition, just a bottle of water. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. That word beginning with Q never entered my head. We need to learn how to dismiss it from our vocabulary. So when we get those niggly thoughts in our subconscious, whether you're at the gym or in business or whatever else, in a relationship, and that Q word, the word beginning with Q pops in there, change your self-talk. Just keep going. Just carry on. I can do this. Just keep going. So from Soho, I'm just going to keep going into this bar and have a glass of vino. Have a fantastic night. See you soon. Bye.